Hey everybody, we're back for part three of the video, carving the 1920s man bus. Start my timer. I need to figure out why I can only shoot it in 10 minute segments, although that might be it's more convenient for <coughs> watchability. So, Alright, so before we're leaving, we we did the nose there. Hopefully it's in focus well. Um, there's a few cuts. And we're going to take our pencil here and kind of sketch out his face a little bit. And I will bring it up to the camera there to, so you can see better. Still learning uh, the best way to position the camera. Hopefully we'll find a happy medium there. So what we did here, he's going to have a full beard and mustache. So we're just uh, going to separate where his actual skin exposed part of his face is. So what we're going to do, we drew those lines. We're going to make a stop cut along the lines. Now there's two ways we can go about removing this chip. With our knife, which is what I'm going to do, or you, some people could use, uh, instead of even doing the stop cut, you can revert back your uh, soft V uh, to do it. I'm going to use the knife, and we're going to go just follow along, cutting on the inside down of our stop cut. Hopefully I can bring this in to show you better. Fortunately on these small pieces, I have a bigger project in mind that's going to be uh, be big and fairly involved and I'm going to hopefully video the entire process. Um, it, will, I mean, it will likely be easier for everybody to see too. Unless I can get this whole cinematography aspect down. I wear a lot of hats folks. Alright, so, see if I can get that one there for you. So hopefully you can kind of see what we did there. Again, I'll post the stills of it, which will better demonstrate. Alright, now for the mustache, we can go ahead and start thinking about that. Again, just sketching it out here on my piece before I do anything. It's always good to have an idea of where you're going before you get there. Alright, I'm going to do one side using the V-tool, one side using the knife. Uh, so, you can kind of see what we did there. We just drew lines again. So we're going to follow those lines with this 3 8 soft V. I'm actually going to go ahead and do both sides of the soft V. Just because I have it in my hand. So then a lot of times what I'll do, then I'll come also with the knife and underscore that soft V cut. And I think, in my opinion, it adds a very uh, interesting look to it. And uh, that's what matters to me most, is though I think that my carving is visually good and pleasing. And if the answer is yes, then good. If the answer is no, then you'll never see it. Alright, we're just going to kind of trim that mustache up there. Yep, yep, yep. Again, I apologize, this isn't... In hindsight, doing a small bus may not be the best subject matter, but it can be a little more quickly done, which is uh, good for videos. Alright, I am a fan of that. Alright, now we gotta do the rest, now we gotta figure out the rest of his beard here. So we're gonna kind of shape it up a little bit. I'm actually going to pull out a another healthy item. Uh, this is the small what is that, thumbnail gouge, I think that's what they call this. It's sharp on one side. I don't know how well you can see what's going on here. Um, but it uh, resembles kind of like a fingernail. I'm actually going to use it to push some of this wood around so that it's easier to do with this than it is with the knife. 
it's possible to do it with a knife, mind you, but again, uh, you know, use the tools that you have to make your life easier. As you develop your own style of carving, you will find stuff that you like. Uh, I do a very traditional style of carving, but like I tell people that in 1830, if Axel Peterson had a push gouge, and he would have used a push gouge. We are the products of what we have available. And luckily I have a lot available. Alright, so I kind of like what we got, what we did there. Just a few simple, few really folks, just a few cuts can make a world of difference there. Like we did. We're going to come in using our knife, come in the front here. Kind of shape that up a little bit. Taking look at our pencil here, you know, because he has his mustache here. First thing we gotta do is, you know, there's always that little break there in the mustache. I'm gonna sketch on some lips to see how I feel about them. I feel pretty okay. Yeah, we're gonna get a smaller knife. Again, some people would underscore this with a U gouge, but this is not my style. This is a lion's knife, company's out of business. I got this at an, more or less an estate sale. A man named Max Mays, he uh, carved his name into his knife. Thought that was kind of cool. So uh, I left his name. The way uh, Max can keep carving. Long. Um, but yeah, it's a little detail lion's knife. We're just going to undercut that lip I drew on. definitely aren't going to be able to see this, but you'll see it in the stills that I take up this piece. I'm going to bring it back for just a minute so I can more adequately do what I'm trying to accomplish here since you can't, won't be able to see it really anyway. Uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, so we've done the lip here. Let me just do one more little thing here. The lip will be complete. Sorry about that, folks. Um, I'll pick up a minor in cinematography. I'll take, I'll take a class on it. Alright, so. We did the lip. Finished up his mustache. Well, we did a little bit more detail work on that mustache. Hopefully you can kind of see what we did there. Gonna revert back to our original life we were using here. We're going to bring... Uh, the head up under this hat just a little better in the back there. Looking a little weird. I don't know. I'm running, don't really have anything else to talk about. Uh, we're just, you know, we're shaping the head here. Which is what we've been doing the entire time, basically. Alright, I'm actually pretty happy with the size of that head. Uh, it needs to be, you know, either clean up underneath here a little bit, but the reason to bore y'all with that, we can come up under here, take care of the bottom of this beard, shape it up a little better, and look at that, we are out of time. Um, we'll be back with part four shortly, and uh, I think we might actually be able to finish him up, so that's not bad. 40 minutes, four part video, and yeah, thanks for watching.